Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to display the winds and the jump power. Uh, I'm going to put the winds above the user's head and the jump power on a GUI on the top of the screen. So let's get into it. So we'll start with the GUI uh, with the jump power. So under starter GUI, we'll create a new screen GUI, which we will uh, rename to, uh, let's call it jump label GUI, or let's call it label GUI. And then we can have all our future labels in here if we have more. And then inside this label GUI, we will add a text uh, label. I'm going to set the size to maybe 0 0.20, 0 0.20, and then we can resize it to how we want. So I will probably have it about this at the top of the screen like that. And now what I'll do is make the background transparency like a light blue, or whatever color you would like really. I'm going to set the text to white, because it contrasts quite nice with light blue. Keep it a regular weight. Uh, I will scale up the text. And I might change the font to maybe Fredoka one, that'll do. And I'll just set the text to some dummy text like jump height or something like that. Now under this text label, I'm going to rename this first of all to jump label or something like that. And I'm going to add in a UI corner, which uh, I'm going to set to maybe 0 0.10 or 0 0.20 just to give it some uh, like look nice look to it. I'll add a UI stroke as well so that we can get some nice uh, thick kind of outlines on it now under this jump label we're going to add in a local script and we'll say local well first of all we want to create a variable with the actual text label so we'll say local text label equals script dot parent because uh, the parent of this script is the jump label which is what we want here and now we'll say local player in fact, we'll do this above the text label because that's good practice. So local player equals game dot players dot local player, and then while wait uh, do we we can just do a while wait one do because it's going to change every second anyway. We don't need to do this every frame. The jump height changes every second, but if you've got some synchronization issues, we'll just do while wait do, and then we'll say text label dot text equals and then we can have something like jump hot, jump colon dot dot player dot leader stats uh, jump height dot value. Let me just double check that it is jump height because it's been a little while since I've done this. Yes, jump height dot value. So if we were to now hit test and play, we have our jump height label at the top of the screen with all our jump height. Now, of course, you can edit this to look however you'd like. You can have like an image of a person jumping and then just put the number next to it. I think that's what uh, the original game does. I'm not too sure. I've not actually played it that much. And then we can also add a uh, label above the user's head. So this one's going to be a bit more complicated. So under the label GUI again, we're going to add a text label. In fact, ignore that. Uh, under workspace, we're going to add a part. Now this will just be a temporary block, we're just going to put this down near the spawn. And on this part I'm going to add in a billboard GUI with a text label on it. Now we want this billboard GUI to have an offset, so the size... First of all we'll change the size of the text label to 1010. Now what I'll do with this billboard GUI is put the um, studs offset on the Y by maybe like 3 or 2. You'll have to play around and see what works for you. Now in this text label, we'll set the background transparency to one um, and make the text like yellow or whatever, whatever color you want it. And I'll give it a text stroke transparency of maybe white or a darker yellow. And we'll make this text, we'll scale it and make it say wins colon and then maybe zero or something for testing. So this is what it looks like. You can adjust it if you'd like, play around with the fonts, uh, play around with the text color and whatnot. And now under this text table, we'll rename this to, in fact, we'll rename the billboard GUI to wins GUI. Now what we'll do is grab the wins GUI and, grab, and put this under replicated storage. And we can delete this part. Now in our leader stat script, what we can say at the very bottom underneath all our values, we will say um, local wins GUI equals game dot replicated storage uh, dot wins GUI and, uh, and then we're going to actually clone it so colon clone 
and then we'll say wins GUI dot parent equals the player equals the player dot character. And now what we'll do just above this wins GUI we'll say player dot character added colon connect function and pass in the character. We'll put this code in here. So whenever the character loads in, so if the player dies and then respawns, we'll uh, get the we'll clone the wins GUI and put it inside of uh, the. We can just put character here now with char for sure instead of player dot character. Now what we'll do is say while wait do, and we'll say if um, player colon if player dot character colon find first child. And then the name, which is wins GUI, make sure you spell it exactly how it's spelled in replicated storage. Then, and we'll, then we'll say player.character dot wins GUI dot text label dot text equals, and then we'll set the text to wins colon the dot dot outside the quotation marks, and this will be player. In fact, we don't need to say that. We can just say dot dot. Um, what's the variable called? Jump power dot value. Because jump power is our value with the jump height in. So we have got an error here. Attempt to index nil will find first child. You see, we have got a win zero above our name. Uh, it kind of goes a bit big. So let's play around with that and see why it's doing that. So once again, I'll add in a part into the workspace. We'll come back to the error in a minute. Uh, and we'll drag the wins GUI onto the part and we'll see it's good but as we zoom in and out it kind of gets bigger and smaller so we want to keep it at a constant size so we'll make the max distance first of all uh, we can just put it at uh, like 100,000 uh, studs figure out how far you want the player to be able to stand before it disappears so 1,000 studs is apparently way back here so I'll make it maybe 100 studs. So on the size of the wins GUI, instead of using offset, I'm going to use scale. So I'll set the scale to maybe 10 and the offset to 0. Uh, and I'll set the Y scale to 10 as well and the offset to 0. And we'll just play around with it from here. So maybe we're going to want the X offset at maybe 20 or 15. And the Y offset, or scale, sorry, not offset. By the way, uh, X scale and Y scale, uh, maybe five. It's not too bad. Maybe three or four. Four will do. And now, as you see, as we go in and out, it's just a constant scale and not an offset. So you just want to play around with your size, make sure it's all scale and not offset. And now I'm going to drag the wins GUI back into replicated storage. And we also saw earlier when we put it into the player character. Uh, we saw that the GUI was kind of in the player, so I'm just going to increase the Y offset to maybe 4 on the offset there. And now if we hit test and play again, so what is this? So this find first child, um, attempt to index nil, so we've got to do, uh, that's because the character's not loaded. Just uh, We can just forget about that for now, just ignore that error. I call it a pseudo error, it's an error doesn't need to exist. So there we go, the wins is a bit big, but we can play around with that. We see it's above our head. It's telling us our jump power up there. Now if we run over to the button, it should tell us that we've got one win. Or two actually, I think, because we have the game pass. But I don't know if that'll work because we're in Roblox Studio and not actual Roblox. So when we touch this, uh, we've got two wins. But it's not updated down here. So let's make sure we update that. So that is because under the data stats, we're doing jump power dot value. And we want to just, which is constant in this script, it's just fifth, uh, uh, win, sorry, which is just zero, it's constant. And we're setting it to the jump power dot value and not the wins, that, so that would be helpful, wouldn't it? So what we'll do is dot dot player dot leader stats dot wins dot value. Now if we hit test and play, it should work, hopefully. So you can forget about that. So it's not working, it's not changing. So what we'll do is under server script service, we'll add a new script, which we'll just call wins, uh, wins label, something like that. And in here we'll say game.players.player added colon connect function player. So when the player joins, we'll call this function. We'll say while wait do, if player.character then, if player.character colon find first child, uh, what's it in replicate storage? Wins GUI. Make sure you spell it exactly how it is in replicated storage. Then uh, player dot character dot wins GUI dot text label. I think it's called that. Let me check. Yep. 
uh, dot text equals wins colon space dot dot player dot uh, player dot leader stats dot wins dot value perfect now hopefully that will work so if we hit test and play uh, you'll see yes it says we've got four wins the size is big still uh, we can play around with that but you'll see if we jump up here it should automatically go to six wins when we touch the button so here we go six wins yes it's updated if we were to reset our character you see it disappears hopefully it will reappear again so it's reappeared there will it still be there when we respawn yes it is and perfect and there we go everybody that is it that is the wins and the uh text table if you do want to make the wins a bit smaller or change the size of it just go to your gui and i'll make the size maybe 10 and 3 and now you see if i hit test and play it will be a lot smaller so i hope you found the video helpful everyone uh there we go it's a bit smaller it's not a lot smaller i'll have to keep playing around a bit and making it smaller but it's definitely smaller so i hope you found the video helpful if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye